Today we're breaking down pillar three with Patrice Washington in her keynote at Financial Success Summit. The third pillar is space and space is about setting up your life to support you. We often hear that time is money. I know that you've heard it before. We hear it all the time. Time is money. Time is money. Listen, I don't know what the stat is in Africa, but I can tell you uh, in the United States, there is a stat that says the average American spends 76 hours a year looking for things they already own, but they can never find. And what so many people do was they'll rebuy the same things over and over again, but then say, oh, I don't have money to save but you bought the same thing over and over because you can't find the first one, right? Or you're, you're not set up, your calendar isn't set up to remind you of things. So the thing that you already said you wanted to do, you missed the early bird or you missed the chance to get it cheaper. And now you're paying more for something that you already knew you were going to do a long time ago. And now you have the late fee or now you have to pay the regular price. All of those things not, not being in order it impacts your finances. $30 here, $50 there, $100 here. All of that adds up to be money that could be invested in your business or invested in the stock market or invested in something that's going to help you pay, uh, create wealth, right? So it's important that you start to set your life up, your calendar up, your environment up to support you. A part of why some of us have relationships that are expired that really need to be done, right? We allow those people to come in and disrupt the energy in our space. I believe that any space that I occupy is sacred. I don't care if it's my home office, my home as a whole. I don't care if it's my car. I believe that how I treat my space will teach you how to treat me. And I believe that some of the reasons that many of us are stuck in our lives is because we have so much clutter around us. And I don't care how big or how small your space is, there is no reason for tons and tons of clutter. I say at Redefining Wealth on my podcast that clutter is the physical manifestation of chaos in your mind. If you find yourself cluttered in your finances, I invite you to take a look at your purse, take a look at your wallet, your system for managing your bills. If you said what system, then that's probably why your finances are not where you want them to be. Because anything we nurture grows. So when you nurture the relationship with how you organize and maintain your financial documents, it is going to be directly reflected in your financial life. If their organization is in disarray, of course you're paying late fees. Of course you have overdraft fees. Of course it's hard for you to save. But when you start to have awareness around how you organize and how you create systems for the things that you say you care about, then of course you should expect more ease, more grace, more peace, and more flow. And this is the same if in your health and wellness, right? Is your kitchen organized? Are those kitchen drawers organized? Right? Is your closet organized? Do you fold up laundry and put it up? Right? All of these things, they, they impact your mental well-being and they impact your space. And therefore, they do impact your finances, even when you're not thinking about it. Because if you're not organized and you're always in a rush and in a hurry to go somewhere to do something, you bring that frazzled energy into whatever you're doing. Do you think it doesn't impact the performance at your job? Do you think it doesn't impact your performance with your clients? Of course it does. And that can be directly connected to whether you get the raise or promotion. It could be directly connected to whether a client renews their contract. Because even if the work is good, if the energy is off, people feel it. So that's the space pillar. And it's something I really want to invite you to think about because I don't think we always consider the connection. But trust me, there is so much connection between 
the setup of your space and how you show up in other spaces. And therefore, how it impacts your financial life. So much connection there that is completely missed. So that was the third pillar. Very interesting. Lots of value that Patrice has given us. If you missed the previous episodes, go back and watch them and join us in the next video over here.